Leo, what a goddamn be yo! It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpio Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for September 2020. Show me the money energy, baby. I am late, but I'm always great, honey. Because trust and believe, we gonna get into the teeth. It's like, girl. Okay, let me put my uh my stuff back, y'all. Because I was doing a, a cancer read and try to ice cream truck came, try to look mess up my read and child. So listen, we're going to begin into the tea today, you guys. I am doing y'all's reading with the gypsy tarot decks, y'all, with all my gypsy. Y'all, what I'm trying to tell y'all, cancer's reading was just the tea. We're going to begin into some good stuff today, you guys. So I hope you guys... Um, are glad that you clicked this video thank you so much for all your like share subscribe shout out to all my ogs all my newbies um if anyone would like to book a personal private reading with me only thing you need to do is click the description on this video or click the uh about tab on my youtube page it gives you the pricing list i do only video reading so you connect with me through instagram messenger if you do not have instagram messenger um you can email me at scorpionres at gmail.com i'll get you set up on google hangouts it's a free easy app to download download only thing we need to do to exchange um information to speak with each other is our email which again is scorpionreds at gmail.com so if you have any questions or concerns about booking just um message me again on either instagram messenger or uh email me so i want to thank every last one of you guys for your donations if these videos resonate and you guys want to send a dollar two three four five fifty listen thank you for every <laughs> i got one person that be blessing the page every month and that is how i've been able to purchase all of these amazing decks and do all of the things that i've been doing like my page has grown so, so much, and it's because of y'all's love and support, and I thank you guys so, so much, and I will be picking it back up. So, again, thank you guys. And Leo was one of, no, Leo was the first sign that ever hit a 1,000 views. So, again, thank you so much, Leo, for all your love and support. Um, we're going to give um, prayer over this reading, as we always do. So, bow your head. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Leo. You already know what it be with us, Father God. You already know what we're doing, honey. We don't play. We come here to slay. We come here to take charge. Okay. So, Father God, I just want you to continue to direct us and guide us in the path, in the dimension that we should be in. You know, we want to make sure that our frequencies is in line with our blessings, Father God. We trying to keep our temper. We trying to bring out the best qualities of us, Father God. We ain't letting listen. Like Lonnie B said, shout out DC, DC in the building, Southeast. South, South, East, Lottie. Okay, listen, I'm sorry. Let no bitch upset you. Sorry for cussing, but Lord, you know, we cuss and we prayed up. Let no bitch upset you. Okay? Because we come to get to this money and we came here to slay. We ain't come here to play. So, Father God, we're going to stay in that energy. You know, like how they say, keep that energy, keep that same energy when I roll up on you. Listen, we're going to keep that same energy, God. Because when you roll up on us and hand us these blessings, we're going to keep it there. Okay? Because we can't prepare. So, Father God, just continue to listen. Be a little boasty. We a little full of ourselves right now because we know we've been doing what we're supposed to be doing. And every blessing that's coming to us, we deserve it because we work hard for it. So we proud of ourselves, Father God. We just damn proud of ourselves. So Father God, continue to um just give us guidance. Give us guidance for the sign of Leo for September 2020. Show me the money energy and thank you for all the blessings laid ahead on our footsteps. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> Shout out to everybody from my city. Shout out to everybody from the DMV. DMV was up. Was up. So, if any of you guys would like to place a timestamp after I finish playing, um, placing the cards on the table, that would be great. I'm going to give it two more shuffles. I'm going to lay all the cards facing down. So, and I'm going to see if I got any channel messages. Alright, let's do this here. Alright. Alright. And above, so below spread. Okay, so they said things are like coming slow, but it's steady. Things are coming slow because like my eyes went to my turtles right here. And, like, you see how, like, do you see how, like, the two turtles, like, they are, like, leaning 
like shoulder to shoulder on each other. So I'm getting that in regards to a connection. It's like something could have progressed slowly, but it's like now you could be resting on each other's shoulder. Like really major support. Like you could have like a lot of support going on right now. But it was like slow coming. But it's like I'm kind of feeling like you glad that you waited a little bit. Like God, I wanna take a sneak peek at these cards. Cause I wanna see why I'm getting that. I really wanna Cause I even feel like the message is coming out slow. It's just like just wait for it. Just wait. Like you'll understand. Just wait. And I just it's now I'm getting um now I'm looking at the the tail. So I don't know if it's like if you're at the tail end of a phase or a situation or an experience and now you finally get into the point where you can rest easy. And just relax and enjoy yourself. It's like, I don't know if you're sticking yourself out there a little bit with that tail. Get a card, though. But I want to say that you're at the tail end of a family situation. And you are receiving the comfort that you need. So continue to stick yourself out there. Yeah. So let's get into this. I don't know. I just feel real calm. Like with the cancer reading. I was all hyper and stuff. They had me singing. And y'all like real calm for some reason. They're like quiet. I don't know. Let's see. Guys, get into the tea. Let's see what we mean. Let's see what's going on. September. Oh, I'll be coming at you sideways. Damn, I knew it. I fucking do it. Okay, so before I. <laughs> So this is the card y'all got y'all. Before I picked this card, and I think y'all heard me say it, it I, I said someone coming at you sideways. <laughs> Why would anyone do that? Um, so as you can see, like this little girl just 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 she she did it. Like she did. I, I don't know if it was something that was done and people been trying to figure out who did it. Like, you did it. And you know you did it. And you know why you did it. And I don't think you, like, someone came at you sideways. So it's like you had to shut them down. You know what I'm saying? It's like you had to shut them down. I, I, it could have been someone that's like a little older than you. They could be 38 or something like that. It's like whoever this is, it's like they were they they're old enough and they're they're more experienced than you and they should know better. And I don't know if you're younger than them and they thought that they could play with you, but it's like you're not about to come at me sideways. And I don't know if like with this right here, what I was channeling earlier, I don't know if this is somebody that just took their dear sweet 
fucking time like coming towards you or like it's just something that's just been taking a long ass goddamn time and I don't know if you could have sabotaged something on purpose and it's like yeah I did it like I, I, I upset them I did something and I'm the one that destroyed something and I was like I don't give a fuck you know what I'm saying like I don't know if it's like a mischievous child like or something like that like I don't know if you and then, and then I'm also getting someone that I don't, I'm getting some. Why, why am I getting someone that is like it's a relationship and it's slow to come to fruition because someone has a bad ass fucking child that be doing shit on purpose to like sabotage y'all's connection or something like that. I feel like this is a problem child or a child like I feel like the relationship is good and it's just taking it a while to come together because you hate this person's fucking kid like this kid is bad like like this kid needs attention or something like that i don't know if the parent like the mother puts this child up to doing shit like literally like this child could have set this someone's dress on fire or could have did something like bad like especially if you're a female like this little child could just be like mashing up your makeups, like um, throwing your toilet, um, your toilet. Uh, um, mm, mm, mm. I've been seeing someone dropping someone's toothbrush in the toilet on purpose, and they try to make it seem like it's an accident, but not. No, this little motherfucker did it. This little motherfucker did it, and I don't know. Like maybe you keep trying to stick yourself out there to like try to help this child or try to show this child that you mean well like that you really love their father or their mother or something but this child doesn't give a fuck this little motherfucker does not like you and the mother doesn't like you or whoever doesn't like you and this little fucker is going to raise hell in your goddamn life period you know what i'm saying either you did something to sabotage something because you felt like someone you know what i'm saying was jumping they self out there and was doing too much like ugh, let me just let me go this is the seven of cups so this is like you have other options you know possibly being confused like you thought that this person or this situation it seemed like it was more preferable than the other shit that you had going on that was being offered to you at the time but maybe you realize it uh maybe what I selected wasn't or like I didn't okay so one one of the stories one of the warnings of the seven of cups is it because I forget which one of my decks it is um it's either the before or, or after tarot I want to say it's the after tarot the message of the seven of cups is be careful of what you select because you never know what you choose and what else may attach itself to you you understand? So that is literally like, okay, I decided to date this man, but I did not know that this mischievous ass child that I'm going to end up going to jail. Like, I really feel like someone, I don't know. It's like this child make you want to strangle this little motherfucker. Like, this, this child does the most heinous shit. Like, to, like... Almost to the point where you feel like the child is special, where you feel like you want to tell the parent, like, maybe you need to go seek counsel about this child. I don't know if the parent drinks a lot or is just very absent-minded and doesn't want to, like look at reality in regards to this child, but I feel like this child may be trouble or may need some type of guidance or assistance and I am seeing a parent that is too inebriated like too drunk or too worried about other things going on and not paying attention to this child and you're getting the blunt the brunt of the abuse from this child and whoever you're dating is not looking at it they're not taking it serious like they're confused they don't see what you see and you're just like there's other shit out there for me like you know what I'm saying like I, I don't think that you realize when you selected this cup that you were going to have to deal with something else. You see what I'm saying? That along with this cup comes the responsibility of dealing with this mischievous ass child. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you may be emotionally confused on how to appropriately deal with this because this is a child. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is this? Remembrance, your ancestors. So what I'm getting here is like... This could be something that is like triggering some type of 
memory from your childhood like you could have had like a cousin who was like that um i don't know i'm getting autistic or schizophrenic or something i, I mean i'm not saying ugh. it's like <sighs> how do i say this like this child has bad thoughts or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like always thinking about doing something bad and it's just like a normal child or a person doesn't think to do shit like that. Or this could even be you. Like you could be in a positive relationship or something like that. Like you could have made the right cup. You could have made the right selection. But because you have so many other options out there, you could be confusing. You could be self-sabotaging your relationships or your blessings because... You think it's something better out there and you just want to drink from all of the cups and you just don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's like I want to try it all before, you know, and it's like you're really destroying all your opportunities for real. And what this is telling you is to remember what happened to the people before you. Like you've seen people. Listen, it's like live by the sword, die by the sword. You see the sword right there next to the person. So like the sword represents knowledge. It's like remember what happened to the child that was in your family that everyone was in denial about and they never received help. This person ended up being troubled in a whole bunch of issues with the law. This per the, 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 the child is now locked up for murder. I mean, not saying it's, it's not a child anymore, but as the child progressed and got older because no one wanted to take serious and everyone wanted to be in denial and wanted to be in confusion about what's going on and didn't want to take everything seriously. Like maybe this child didn't have the right elements around it. Like everyone is drunk. Everyone is high. No one is paying attention to the child. The child is setting shit on fire and doing bad shit, looking for attention. And it's like, you're trying to tell people, listen, my cousin went through the same shit. His parents was on drugs. No one paid attention to him. This little nigga grew up. He was in gangs. He did this. He did that. He's locked up for murder right now. His whole life went down the toilet because no one paid attention to him. And someone should have listened. So I'm trying to tell you. I'm not saying that this is what your child is going to do. I'm just warning you. And I'm letting you know. Because I remember my cousin was just like that. And no one tried to help. You know. And I feel like. You may love whoever this person is, is trying to tell them, like, listen, and I feel like whoever it is, like, they can have too many options, too many different women, too many, like, this could be a father that has a very beautiful little girl. She's a very beautiful girl, but whenever he has his daughter, he always has his daughter around all these different women. You understand what I'm saying? And he's not paying attention to her, and she could be doing malicious things to these women they could be telling the dude listen your daughter is doing this and he's in denial he's not listening to it he's not realizing he's the cause of this do you understand what i'm saying and it, okay anyway let me just keep on you got the winter and then you got the three of wands so it's like the winter the winter um in this deck it represents like new birth like seriously like yule tidings and things like Things being quiet, cold, hibernation, things like that. Like going in for the winter. Like what I'm seeing here is someone I'm I'm thinking about cuffing season right now. You hear me? So with this three of wands, it's like this shit is too much for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I know that. There's other things in life ahead of me. Um, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Um, I'm trying to tell this person what's going on. And they ain't even listening to me. And I remember, I've seen what happens in situations like this. You know what I'm saying? It's winter time coming up. It's starting to get cold. I'm just thinking about moving on to another destination. Um, there's there's better things out there for me. And, and, and I feel like someone wanting to be snug in the house in the winter time making love waking up on saturdays drinking some hot cocoa eating some um, um western omelets with their man or with their woman watching some netflix like really just being bond in you know what i'm saying really being comfortable um creating a new life with each other you know what i'm saying hibernating being indoors with people that they love family and things like that and it's like i want to move on like that's what i want it's like i don't i don't want to be with 
someone where I'm going to be miserable. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you could have destroyed this shit on your own because it's like, I got other shit. There's other shit out there. Like, I like why? why? I'm, I, I, uh -uh. You know, I, just, I just rather create something new. It's like, I'm aware of my other options. So it's like, I'm... <sighs> No. Let's see what we got here. You got the fool. This is the same card. This is the same card in the same placement of the cancer reading. Like literally, you are moving on. It's like you moving on in faith. You know something else is better for you. It's like I might just destroy this shit because I felt like this relationship has no purpose in my life or it wasn't going anywhere. Call the fire department, tell them I did it, like whatever. By the time they get here, I ain't even gonna be here. Like catch me, catch me if you can. I'm the gingerbread man. It's like I don't Mm -mm. I remember my worth. I know what happened to. I know. I know where this is going. I'm just not even. I'm just not. You know. This person is taking flight. Like they're moving on. Two cards are moving on. Never remembering what their opportunities are and where they're headed. So they might have self sabotage something. Like incubation in the in the reverse. So. This is something where, um, again, it didn't feel like any life was going to be birthed in this. It's like, I don't want to be trapped inside, away from the world. Like, it's like, in the wintertime, it's like, there's more night than it's daytime. I don't want to be with someone that's going to trigger my shadow. Does that make any sense? There's more darkness than there's night. And... If I'm going to be indoors for long periods of times, I want it to be with someone that I'm comfortable with. Someone that I have faith in. Something where I know things are going to grow and it's going to create something beautiful. I don't think that this is going to create anything beautiful. I remember who I, who I am. And that's why with that full card, I'm being encouraged to move forward and to, to not stop. You know what I'm saying? And just know... That my feet are going to carry me to the right destination. And I can't doubt myself. The fool is like literally operating on faith. And just again knowing. Knowing that there's other options. And you really focusing on self-fulfillment. And it's like I'm not going to curl myself inside. And feel like there's nothing left for me. There's nothing out here. And I'm very much so aware that there's something out there for me. So. I don't feel like you're going to ostracize yourself from the world. I feel like you. Very much so remember who you are. You are focused on cuffing season. You want to be comfortable this cuffing season. So you might have cut your losses out of a situation on purpose. Because you did not want to be trapped. I feel like whoever this was, it was going to trigger your shadow. And it's like you've been in such a positive energy. like. Because I feel like this is the reason why you hate children. Like, you you can literally be a Leo that is motherless. Like, you might not have any children because of shit like that. You see what I'm saying? It's like, well, you don't date people with children because of shit like that. You know? So, it's like, no. I'm good. What is this? The Six of Wands in a reverse. So, the Six of Wands in a reverse could be, like, you're not giving someone any attention. There's no real accolades that could be like uh, accomplished here um it's like you not you don't feel like you would ever get the recognition and the respect that you deserve because there might be so much going on in the situation so that is why you don't want to be trapped in with this incubation period because again I'm, I'm it's someone that is focused on the winter time it's like that might be your favorite time of the year. You love cuffing season. You love when it's cold and you could just be indoors in the fireplace. And like, yeah, like I love this season. I ain't about to be. Mm -mm. No, ma'am, you don't give me the joy and the satisfaction that I feel like I need and I deserve. Like you might not even have the same taste of music. I feel like this person just doesn't have a positive influence in your life because it's like you guys might just be so fucking different and it's like why didn't i see this before like i don't even like like you don't even have the same sense of music uh anything like that it's like i don't see me ever getting the recognition we don't have anything in common you know what i'm saying like you want kids you have a whole bunch of kids i don't i don't like your kids um Let's just start there. 
No, I'm good. Let's see. Ooh! You got the Seven of Wands. Oh, God, I don't like this Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is basically where there is, like, back and forth banter, arguments, there's disagreements, you feeling like you're having to defend yourself in your decision on something. You just came off the Six of Wands. You're, like, telling this person, like, listen, we don't have anything in common. You don't recognize me the way I want you to recognize. You don't even listen when I'm telling you that your child is being fucking bad. Like, I'm not about to sit here and compete with you, your baby mother, your children, and all of this other shit. I don't even have any children. You got too much going on. I got too much shit going on for me. Like, the sex is good, but outside of that, like, what else are we doing here, girl? What are we doing? This motherfucker might be like, shut up, bitch. What the fuck you mean? What you mean I don't recognize you? I done told you I had a baby mother and my daughter, you know, is is a little difficult at times and shit. But you mean you 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 try to say I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't show you no affection? You try to say what you try to say? You like, oh my god, this motherfucker crazy as shit. What the fuck what you mean? Shut up, bitch. It's like, let me shut up. <laughs> like, nah, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why do I feel like... I, I don't like that. Especially, look, I'm going to tell you like this. If, if if you don't like this person's child, please don't tell me. Don't tell this person that you don't like their child. Because I feel like this motherfucker going to go off. And y'all going to get in an argument or something like that. Or you might tell this person that you don't want their child. Because, like, I don't know why. I feel, especially Leos, they could be very blunt. And they can tell you very directly, like, I got other options. Like, it's just too much chaotic shit going on. Like, this shit just... And, like, I don't... Mm -mm. I don't... I don't like this here. I don't like... I don't know if this... And now I'm getting... I'm feeling like this is someone saying that, that, that there's an aggressive Leo man that they're dating or something. Um, I really feel like you don't want any children by this person. You do not want any children by this person. But now I'm getting this, and now I'm looking at this here, I'm feeling like there's a secret about something, and it's like someone needs to shut up and be quiet about something. It's like someone could be talking too much. Again, like this is someone that has like options though. This is someone who got options though. This is someone that got options. Let me see. This is the Ten of Clubs. So the, the Ten of Clubs surrounded by the clouds denote sickness and if adjoining death. Yo. But the Ten of Clubs, and this is like, this is the tower. So the tower in, in, uh, the tower in Lenormand represents like protection. It represents seclusion. It rep, you know what I'm saying? It represents someone not being able to reach you, um, like being guarded. And you know, the tower in tarot is like something that you don't see coming, something that's shocking, something that could have been disturbing. But for it, it could be for the better. Something that naturally needed to be destroyed so that you could start something in peace all over. Tinge represents ending. So like the Ten of Clubs is traditionally when you have reached the peak of your success in a career or you, you done accomplished or achieved everything that you were going to achieve out of a situation and it may be time for you to move to a new chapter like you may be getting promoted um after the ten of clubs it goes to the ace of diamonds do you understand what i'm saying so it's like everything that you worked hard for um now i'm getting here i'm getting like clearly we see there's someone that might that destroyed something purposely with the Fool card, because they moved on in faith. With the Three of Wands card, they knew their purpose and they know that there's something better out there for them. So that like they were waiting for the right opportunity to beat it. Um, this tower is representing to me. Um, you could have possibly known that once you tell this person how you feel about the situation, that they could have been aggressive, that it could have turned into a, a struggle. I'm I'm. 
looking at a physical struggle here because I, I don't know why I'm feeling like whoever this person is like if you don't because it's seven of cups I feel like this person is delusional like they don't they drink like a fucking fish or something and if you say the wrong things like they might try to hurt you or something like that um and that's why I'm, I'm getting the ancestors like you remember like you've seen this before and it's like I don't want to be secluded and trapped away with this person I don't want to create no life with this person like I feel like this is um I want to say this person could have kept you sick this person um or, or maybe not a court you catch made you sick I feel like you've seen this before it's like that might have been how somebody else died or something because and with the sword you see the sword in the in the cup there and it looked like it's a book there so it's like do you see this it's like your ancestors is telling you you know how I passed away or you know how so and so passed away they were dealing with someone they was out in the streets this motherfucker drank too much had all of these other bitches or had all of these other niggas you understand what I'm saying would still come in Listen, the three of wands could be someone waiting. You know what I'm saying? It's like someone could have been waiting for someone to come back home from travel. Like someone could have been in and out. The three of wands could be a third party situation. You know what I'm saying? The seven of cups, other option, third party. You know what I'm saying? I really do feel like denotes sickness and if it's joining death. You've seen this before. You know that there's not going to be any success and recognition from being with someone like this. You know that there's no, there's not going to be any reward. It's going to be arguments. It's going to be drama. It's going to be fights. There could be sicknesses that could lead to death. I feel like with this 10 and this tower, there could have been some certain change. Maybe, maybe you did something and you didn't even realize that you were doing it that could have destroyed the situation maybe God said look I'm gonna get you out of the situation just wait and when I give you the signal burn that shit down and run like the dickens you know what I'm saying run you understand what I'm saying the 10 like something is over and I want to say this tower you were secluded God kept you away because like you might not be around this person no more you may be sitting back watching something burn and you know that you did this shit on purpose you know what I'm saying God told you to wait. And when he gave you the signal run like the dickens. He's going to seclude you. He's going to protect you. He's going to. It's going to come down naturally. You know what I'm saying? So this tower. I feel like this is God protecting you. Because look at this. Because this motherfucker is going to try to fight you. This person is going to try to argue with you. This person is going to try to control you with sex. This person is going to try to do something. And it's like. Let me just keep going. Thoughts. Listen, thoughts of the second chance. The seven of hearts represents second chance, represents something familiar, means someone getting a chance to do something all over again. So, again, it's like I feel like God is taking you out of this conflict and this confusion. I don't want you to be trapped in this. There's something better for you. So, we did this on purpose. Like, I don't even think that. I feel like there's something that made someone not like kids. Because I, I really do. And it's like, don't feel like that because God is going to give you a, sec a second chance to rebuild and start all over. I feel like God put you somewhere where someone can't reach you so that you could finish out this chapter and this cycle so that you could start over and have a second chance at love of life. Something that you're going to be more comfortable in. Something that is going to keep you in safe keeping where you will get the record is this the record look a soldier be a soldier stay on your ground i want to say god is putting someone in a tower is out I, I, he he did something he moved something he moved he removed somebody what is this the three of cups so the three of cups is celebration it's happiness is rejoicing like this is fertile like your life is fertile right now like things are 
successfully growing and you might be reconnecting with a lot of your family and friends that really mean a lot to you you guys are feasting um drinking from the same cups like um, i'm seeing like a party or something like a birthday party you know like a punch bowl like someone everyone's drinking and enjoying the same wine or the same food or something like that i feel like this is a celebration of something so it's like a rejuvenation in life or something it's a rejuvenation. Um, dance parties and I'm just seeing family and happiness and things like that. A lot of festiveness. A lot of festiveness. So again, you guys could be waiting to go back home um, to like meet family. Again, like I said, ancestors, remembrance, the seven of cups. I, I am seeing it like a lot of celebration and choices you know what i'm saying i'm seeing the reap here so that that is giving me the world again i'm getting a lot of movement um a lot of travel a lot of movement moving away from places where there's no success and victory here let's see what this is familiar guardian and oh lord this is the devil card so all right so we got the familiar card here. So, again, that's a guardian. I feel like this is a guardian protecting you away from the goddamn devil. Like, temptation. Things that you know are not good for you. Temptations um, are represented by too much food, too much drinking, too much partying, drugs, uh, over self-care. Like, you know, like, you could be always going to get your hair done, always going shopping, always doing so much that you always broke you know what i'm saying like your self-care regimen could be what is keeping you trapped where you can't do the things that you want to do and it's like maybe you need to cut back on certain things but it's like you're such a prisoner to feeling like you have to do this stuff the devil card you know what i'm saying that you just can't see how to cut your budget back a little bit so you won't be struggling so much. It's like you being held captive to certain wants or desires or, you know, passions or influences and stuff. And you got this guardian angel saying, no, 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 no. Remember. Remember. You know what these temptations did to so-and-so. You know what happened to me. I'm watching you and I'm going to guide you, you know. You can feed your passions and desires, but don't let it be a crutch where it won't allow you to move, you know? So, this is like, I want to say, like, there could be something going on here with overexposure to alcohol, partying, or drugs, you know what I'm saying? Like, um... In dating and being around people that because I don't necessarily even think it's you being influenced by it I want to say it may be people that you attach yourself to like you could have met these people drinking and partying and things like that and you know and you thought that they were going to cut their options and stop partying or you know what I'm saying and it's like you know just re remember how you get them is how you gonna lose them If you met him in a club, you're going to lose him to a club. If you met him as a thug, you're going to lose him as a thug. Remember, I said something about live by the sword, die by the sword. So, it's remember. Do you understand what I'm saying? Remember. You are what you eat. And if you don't want to continue down that road, it's like there could be someone that may be keep recycling a pattern because there's a lot of threes here could be recycling a pattern where it's like our party and fun no responsibilities you know it's like i don't um because that's what i'm getting with the devil card here and it's like it's time to like grow up and move on it's time to the ship has sailed for that stuff it's time for responsibilities it's time to think about what's Passions are really dri driving you here. Like, what do you want to do? What do you want to be? Like, remember how the people in the past, how this shit turned out for them. The only thing they wanted to do was party, sex, and rock and roll. And they didn't think about nothing else. You know? Because remember, I'm saying something about someone that... I said a man that has a daughter, like, on the weekends or something. And every weekend, he got... Every weekend it's a different bitch. Like it may be three girls that this man has in rotation constantly. And this little girl, she don't know which one of the bitches is going to be at her daddy's house this weekend. And she don't like none of them bitches. 
She be putting oatmeal in motherfuckers shoes and like throwing motherfuckers phones in the to I mean like this little girl be torturing the fuck out of these women. You know, and it causes a lot of arguments and confusion. And and like this motherfucker, like, like you better not say nothing about my motherfucking daughter. What you say about my daughter? My daughter wouldn't do none of this shit. She's like, but she just shut the fuck up, bitch. Like, I'm serious. Like, I'm serious. And it's like, I don't feel like this man realized how his lifestyle, all of these, these, these three girls that he always given to, like, you giving to these women more than you're giving to your child, and you don't realize that's why your child is fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? That The familiar, remember, I told y'all, this is familiar to you guys. There may be a cat, there may be an animal that they have that always goes to this child to give this child comfort or to give you comfort or it's like sometimes I feel like you can feel pressure feel sad and because you feel like I want to get away from this situation but it's like this month this keep calling me back I don't know why <clears throat> it's just like what does this person have over me and it's like this familiar this guardian this angel this let me show you why you feel like that because you've seen this before this is like deja vu but you repeat in my life and baby i swear to god i love you so much i'm not gonna let you do this i'm so serious like i'm so serious listen it's like this i swear remember listen you live by the sword you die by the sword that's how i fell I'm painting you the perfect picture of what your future is going to be. You're never going to get the recognition. And this is this is even a child not being recognized by this person. You see how this person treats the child that he got right now. Why would you procreate with this person? So now you you, you do you understand what I'm saying? No child recognition. Okay, last card, you guys. What is this? This is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So the Queen of Cups in the reverse, this could be a woman that is, they're saying unemotional. I feel like they're saying unemotional. Even though the Queen of Cups is definitely not someone that's unemotional. Well, I guess you could be unemotional because you could just be at the point where you're emotionally numb. Um, I feel like the type of attention again and the sex and the intimacy and the passion because water sign women we listen if it's not passionate we don't want it if it ain't if it ain't if it ain't passionate we do not want it probably won't even get aroused for you do you understand so it's something that she's unemotional she's unenthused she does not feel It's just, she don't, I feel like she doesn't feel anything. Um, you know, I'm getting that feeling. It's like you don't even feel anything. You're just there because you're there. Um, that's what I'm getting. Listen, you got broken glass. You got the eight of diamonds. The eight of diamonds, it, it, it warns you to pay attention to everything that you have and everything that you work for because as quick as you got is as quick as it could go. Pay attention to what you invest in yourself in. This is bad luck. Broken glass is bad luck. You understand what I'm saying? And if you're feeling emotionally numb. If you're feeling like this. And you're getting this card. And then and then you got the six of fucking. Then you got inconsistency. Then you got the six of goddamn spades. So this is like you. Cutting someone out of your life, surgical precision. I don't know it, 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 if you and cancer, if you're dating a cancer, but oh my god, y'all. And then you got prison. You got prison. You guys and cancers reading, the cards are different, but it's very much so kind of the same a little bit. This here says broken glass. Foretells ill luck for long years, if near, but if distant, the death of a friend. You know your worth. You know where you're going. You know where you're headed. 
again, you got the three of wands. I feel like you've just been patient and you've been waiting for something else to come. Um, and as soon as God gives you that signal, you're going. It's like this winter. You're cutting this person out because you know that you are going to be in prison. And if you don't get this person the fuck out of your life, shit is inconsistent. Things are not going the way that you want. If you don't do it now, you're not going to be able to do it later. You got the devil right here, which is letting you know the intentions that you're going to be trapped. And if you don't get this energy the fuck out of your life and remember who you are and that you have other options. You understand what I'm saying? You have other options. You got the three of wands and then you got the three of cups and you got the devil here. So whoever you're dealing with, there's definitely a third party that is making something difficult. I feel like it's a child. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the reason why this child is making shit difficult is because there's all these extra people in their fucking life that's making their life miserable and inconsistent and there's one common denominator here it's the child's mother or the child's father do you understand what i'm saying um or it's just mm -mm. remember who you are remember what you want you want to be comfortable and again you see that tower so i, I feel like again like you guys may be secluded from someone someone could very much go to prison this winter Someone could go to prison this winter. Someone could go to prison this winter. <sighs> Boy. And that, and that may be the tower moment right there. Because it's like this person was doing something bad. Or this person wasn't living a good lifestyle or something like that. And again, I, I, I feel like this could be someone that was like abusive, like someone could have put their hands on someone and I'm getting a restraining order now. It's like someone could have violated a restraining order because like the 10 of clubs, like you did all you could do. You finished your job. You got whatever little bit of success and recognition that you could have got, even though it wasn't much, like you got whatever you could have got. God put you away so that you ain't had to deal with this shit no more. Someone could have, like, broken a restraining order because, you know, they just wanted to argue and just, like, but you said something about my daughter and I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, and trying to get second chances and stuff like that. And you called the people on them, like, listen, this motherfucker is still calling me. So I feel like someone's going to go to jail, too. Someone's going to go to jail, y'all. Anyway, let me get the fuck up out of here. Y'all help me make this... Y'all help me make this make sense, y'all, because I'm trying to tell you. Someone going to jail, Mo. Someone going to jail because it's like, it could, I don't know why I'm getting theft now. I don't, it's not theft, I'm getting vandalism. I'm getting vandalism, man, because it's like you in this tower. You Look, I'm getting vandalism, y'all. It's like someone did something. And this little motherfucker going to jail, bro. You hear me? This motherfucker going to jail. And it's like, y'all are numb. Like, I don't, y'all could be dealing with a water sign. I, oh, I'm gone. I'm gone. Y'all help me make this make sense. Leo, I love y'all. Just keep it moving. Run. Like, really run. I don't want y'all to deal with this person anymore. Run. I love you. Bye.